Well, the Nokia Black update is out, and this is what your phone will look like after it's done. But it's not automatically being pushed. I had to go get it, so we're going to cover that in the time frames. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go out to your phone and then go out to your settings. Now, I have an icon here. Uh, you know what? For you guys, what I'll just do is I'll just uh, go over here to my applications and hit uh, settings. Come over here and say settings. Scroll down till I get to phone update. Uh, not there. Get down here to phone update. And I'd already started it, so that's why it's all the way here. But it took quite a while. It's going to take about 10 minutes just to do the download, the initial download. So even if you have these checked and everything, automatically do that. It doesn't necessarily, you're not in the schedule or however it determines your phone gets updated. It uh, doesn't necessarily do the update. So you just go out there and grab it. So I skipped here to the end. It took another uh, to preparing to install. This took another at least 10 minutes. It's a really long update about it. I would say it, it just in total, probably around a half an hour. Uh, but it's, uh, it's stuck here, it looks like. But don't despair. It is doing the update, and it'll eventually get out of this uh, display. As a matter of fact, if you wait long enough and you sit there and let your phone uh, sit, it'll eventually go into lock mode. And by the way, this screen here will change after the update. It's some new exciting features for your lock screen uh, that you'll be able to see once uh, the new update is applied. So just be patient. Uh, just can go back in and unlock your phone. Uh, you can still watch the update occurring uh, while it's going on. So uh, let me let's let's uh, double tap for the scroll up and it's still installing. So uh, we're still waiting for it to finish. So uh, I we can go back to your phone, but you would you wouldn't use it. You want to make sure it's plugged in, of course, and everything. But then all of a sudden, uh, wherever you're at in your phone, uh, just letting it sit there or using it for something, it'll come up and say, "Oh, your update is ready to install." Now you can postpone or you can go ahead and click on install. You don't have to do it, but it tells you what the update is and everything. So uh, let's we're going to go ahead and do the install by pressing the install button. Duh. And uh, we will install all these different things. So it took five to ten minutes. Could take longer. It definitely took longer. So there it goes. Now it says uh, restarting, which that alone takes another five minutes. So uh, eventually what you'll see is you'll see the typical goodbye screen. Uh, as it now fin it's finished copying files and replacing all the files. That's how updates work. It re replaces all the operating system files and puts them in place so it can actually run with the new system. So now it's saying goodbye. And after it comes up, it's going to churn with the gears and everything and make sure that it, all the files are now doing what they're supposed to do and all that. And then it has this thing where it updates uh, your uh, data as well, supposedly, uh, which takes a lot of time. So here it is booting into the boot. And uh, you get your Nokia branding come up. And after you get that, you should get your Windows, uh, your gears uh, doing the install. There's your Windows box that you're used to seeing when you boot your phone. And then here comes the gears, and then you'll see a little status bar comes up, and it says uh, the progress. And this goes on a good another 10 to 15 minutes. So here's the uh, the progress bar you'll see at the bottom and everything. It goes very slowly as well, just like everything else, as it's uh, setting up those files I talked about and then getting ready to do it. Now I've jumped to the end here so that uh, we can see uh, you know a little bit quicker what's going on. And there's the Nokia. Now, of course, this has been shortened. There's the boot cube. This has been way shortened. Uh, you'll see the booting uh, cube come up, and you'll see the phone go into its next phase of the install. And it does something what's called uh, migrating your data. Now, I'm not sure what it's doing with your data files and how this may or may not be affected by the amount of data you have. I didn't have a lot on my phone. But it's, uh, you know, phone numbers is making sure everything's in the right place and the right bucket and everything. Maybe some video files as well. Uh, it starts on step three of six, and it takes a long time on step three. So just be patient again. Now I've jumped uh, here to the end of the step three, uh, and it's going to say 100% here pretty quick. And it goes through the next steps uh, fairly fast. And uh, all of a sudden, you'll find out that you're rebooted, and you are in true almost done. Now we're in, uh, it's hard to see because a little bit of focus, but there's six, six of six. And so there we are. And uh, so, yep, your update is all done. You say done, and you're not really done. Uh, it'll bring up the phone and everything. Everything's great, but uh, in a little bit you'll get it. You'll be uh, and we can look around, but in a little bit uh, it'll ask you to uh, restart your phone. And uh, there's a restart required. Don't have much choice here. You just say restart now, and that's the final restart uh, you'll see. It'll go into the goodbye, and of course then it'll shut down, and you'll see the uh, Nokia uh, words of the logo come up and 
come up here in a second. And there it is, right there. Ah, there we go. Uh, and I've cut this out a little bit to reduce some of the time during the boot. And we'll get over here and it'll then come up with the windows, or excuse me, the cube first. You'll see that. Uh, that's the Verizon cube. And then after that, you'll see the Windows Phone update come up. And there's the Windows Phone. Of course, AT&T people won't see the Verizon. But anyways, the point of it is is that uh, be able to go check our settings now. Go over here to Settings. Uh, and we can go down here. Scroll down until we get to the phone information. And you notice at the top it said the welcome to black. But anyways, hit the phone's update. We already did that. We don't need to do that. We need to go down to about the phone. And there it is. And if we can get the full info here. And there's the firmware. And there's the reservoir. That's the OS version you want to be looking at. So there you are. Windows Black, uh, Lumia Black update uh, for your phone. You'll see some really nice features, and we're going to have a video on that here this afternoon. And don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Have over 150 Windows, Windows 8, and Windows Phone 8 videos, and any more every day.